April. It's been a while since I've heard from you. I hope you're okay. I had a dream about us, the last time I saw you. I remember lying next to you, laughing and smiling without a care in the world. But then our worlds came crashing down. never felt so heartbroken. Then I wasted the rest of our precious moments we had together. Saying goodbye was the most painful thing I've ever done. I realised that life isn't as great as I thought it would be. But then again, I thought you'd be by my side through life too. I learned to put on a mask and face the day with a happy outside, even if it wasn't true on the inside. Because even though things hurt, you can only bandage the wounds and hope they don't scar. Since the day you left, I haven't stopped thinking about you. I always try and write a letter to you every day, but that's not always possible. I'm sorry if I've failed you. I watched you grow into an amazing individual and us grow closer and closer. You make me feel like I actually have an opportunity in the world. Every time I felt down, which was a lot, you would pick me up and I did the same for you. It always hurt so bad to see you upset, as if someone had stabbed me with a fork and was slowly turning it around like spaghetti. I wonder if you felt the same, but then you left and I never felt the same. The hardest part wasn't losing you, it was learning to live without you with me all the time. I never realised how bad it hurts to miss someone new. <sighs> Even though you may be gone from my life, you are never gone from my memories, never gone from my heart. The thing is, April, I don't think I can just move on from our friendship. I cherished you. I wanted to be able to do so much for you. I wanted to be there when you woke up with a cup of tea and some breakfast in bed. I wanted to spend every moment possible with you. Even if we were sitting in complete silence, but I know it could never get boring with you. I wanted to be there during your ups and downs and to be able to lift you up into a better person. I wanted to love you. Hell, I still do. This kind of love isn't the type that you get over with with a cup of ice cream and a movie. It's the kind that grips your heart like a vice. The kind that slowly kills you more and more each day we are apart. It's funny, really. Now I understand why I got so het up over the boys that fawned over you. It's not you that I was jealous of, never was. It was them. I've loved you for the longest time now, but I never even realized it. I hope I didn't just ruin everything. I hope I hear from you soon. I miss you more than words can say. Ezra.